Today, we're gonna show you how to cook fish on your Weber kettle. For this recipe, I'm using swordfish. It was a great deal at my local grocery store. Ingredient wise, very simple today. We're keeping it clean, right? We just really want to enjoy the beautiful taste of swordfish on the grill. So I've got four nice six ounce swordfish steaks, a little bit of lemon and parsley for our garnish. We're gonna use a little bit of just an herb butter and then seasoning it up today, my buddy Matt's honey hog and holy voodoo. This is gonna come together, make an exceptional fish dish. We have a little bit of prep to do, but first, first, let's head out, get that grill started. We're gonna cook with lump charcoal today, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill my chimney up with some of that fogo charcoal. And the nice thing about this lump today, it's gonna help us cook a little bit hotter and a little bit faster. Okay, we have our tumbleweed in here today, so we'll go ahead and light both sides of that tumbleweed. And then once we get it set, we're gonna put the chimney right on there. We're gonna let this ignite, let this get nice and hot, some beautiful red embers. All right, we're nice and hot. We've got a beautiful red solid ember pile in the middle of that lump charcoal. Now what I'm going to do is carefully, carefully pull that into the center of the grill in a pile. Look at that. That's gonna create some beautiful hot heat. We'll go ahead and season the fish. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to the top just to get a little coating on here, protect that fish a little bit, help that rub stick even better. Then I'll flip it. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side as well. Now, we're seasoning up today with a little bit of voodoo and a little bit of honey hog. So we'll go ahead and get that holy voodoo seasoned on here like so. And then before we flip it, just a light touch, trying to add a little bit of sweetness on that honey hog. Then we'll go ahead and flip it. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side as well. All right, we reach 450 degrees. Let's go ahead and get that swordfish right on top of those nice hot embers. Now, cooking temperature today, we're looking for that 145 degree internal. That's gonna mean our fish is gonna be juicy and delicious and it won't be dried out. So we'll go ahead and get it covered. We'll come back and check it in about three minutes, four minutes max. All right, we flipped the fish and now we're good to go. So we're gonna leave it for about another three to four minutes on this side. We'll check that doneness to see that we hit that perfect 145. Now, here's a pro tip for you. If you notice your fish is getting a little too done, move it to the outside of your charcoal. That way you're still cooking at a high temperature, but maybe you're not so direct over the flame. There we are, right at that 147 degrees. We are good, so we'll go ahead and pull these off. I'll see you in the kitchen. We're gonna get that butter on them right away and let it melt while that fish is nice and hot. Literally hot off the grill, onto the plate. I like to put that butter on there so it has a chance to melt. Look at that, get in there nice and tight. Look at that melting butter, looks absolutely delicious. Break that open, look at that. Juicy, delicious, hot and steaming fish. That's what you get when you make fish at that perfect doneness temperature of 145 degrees. Amazing, delicious fish with that beautiful charcoal flavor. Doesn't get any better than this. Hey, speaking of doesn't get any better than this, check out our rotisserie video. That is coming up next.